Hey guys, this is Kyle Kelly and Randall Kelly. Randall, turn around and say hi. Hi. Good job, big boy. Taking it through. Randall's first introduction on a brand new broker on a brand new boat we just got in, guys. Very nice boat, 2003 Rinker, 342 Fiesta V. Um, common boat, sold quite a few of these down here. Um, this boat overall, guys, probably one of the cleaner um, that I've had the opportunity to break uh, to bring in. Um, boats sold quite often with folks. It's got a lot of great overnight features. We'd love to overnight, Kelly's Port, hint, hint, hint. We'd love to have you. Um, but another great day boat as well. So Rand and I just brought the boat in. Uh, it was very nice. He was able to go down underneath. A little bit chilly today, so we kicked on some um, some heat in those hot days. You've got air conditioning. I've got another toddler, Randall's younger brother. We can throw down or both go down for a nap. So whether you're using this boat as a day boat, like what we would, uh, or a potential overnighter, the boat has a lot of versatility and offers quite a bit. Uh, and again, this particular boat, very clean boat, well kept. Um, Big extended swim platform on the aft back here. Nice big um, uh, railing in the aft here as well. Or railing. Swim ladder in the aft back here as well. You've got your designated fender stowage. Some additional transom locker stowage. In the aft back here, that's actually dual access. So also the seat base back here uh, is stowage access for that as well. You've got nice big seating, nice big wide cockpit. Uh, we have ice maker and fridge up here, little trash can, sink, little catch all over there on the right hand side. Um, Rinker level, like a lot of manufacturers now in this model year, they did some more forward cockpit seating. I'm personally a fan of it because instead of having all the way the seating in the front, excuse me, all the seating in the back and very little in the front where you're like the chauffeur, this you're like the captain. You've got a nice big L-shaped seat up here, nice big, I'm going to call it a dual wide helm seat, but it's probably wider than that to be 100% candid. Um, very, very, very nice boat, very nice setup. You got a nice big center walkthrough up to the front access to a nice big four deck sun pad, windless spotlight, all that good stuff. Very great setup. Um, twin engine, twin 350 MPIs. Uh, I forget the drive. I don't know if it's Bravo 1 or Bravo 3, so please don't quote me on that. I'll hopefully have that on the listing sheet. Um, and the hour meters were showing somewhere in the 600 for hours. 633 we are going to scan that we've not had the opportunity to do that yet the generator was showing under 100 it was showing 97 hours which is super 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 low um all in all guys the vinyl condition i'd say it's very good um canvas looks to be very good as well i haven't pulled out every single piece but the aft bimini top and the forward bimini top are down here forward bimini top looks like it's never been used in the same way with the camper canvas enclosures and the aft that i'll take you through um nice big l-shaped i can't remember if that fills in or not i think it might i could be wrong but you've got a nice sleeper forward Obviously, air conditioning in the corner, generator, uh, nice dinette, and guys, a lot of head height here. I'm going to kind of do it different here. Um, I'm five foot nine, plenty of room inside here. So the previous owner of the boat was probably six three, six four, and that's what he said he really liked about the boat. It was a thirty four foot, thirty five foot cruiser that he didn't have to hit his head in whenever he stepped inside. Another big fridge, stove top, sink, gen AC. Um, forward berth up in the front. Uh, again, if you're using this as an overnighter, the other nice thing about this particular boat that's unique, the shower is actually closed off. Um, most manufacturing this model year and size, that's uncommon. Um, head over here as well, toilet, push button flush, and then a nice big stowage in the aft back here, excuse me, sleeper in the aft back here as well. And you can see the camper canvas enclosures. You know, I mean, they look like they've never been used before. So um, interior guys, I would consider it very clean. Uh, only derogatories on the boat. Carpet, and again, that's to be expected. The boat's 15 years old now, so the carpet's probably getting to the point where the backing, the top is okay, the Berber's okay, but the backing is starting to wear out a little bit, uh, which again, is not uncommon. I saw a little bit of stress cracking over here on the side, which is not uncommon. An impact on the aft back here and then one tear in the vinyl again this is just a quick cosmetic run over the boat guys we still recommend and encourage 
that you complete a full mechanical inspection see the boats in person uh we've got a great staff that's here that can take care of all mechanical inspections what's up big boy it can take you did you got a beautiful popsicle a nice big bomb pop at the bomb pop shop i love it uh but again we'd recommend that you do a full mechanical inspection on these we offer that inside i would take a bite yeah hold on oh very good so delicious and um anyways we can handle that for you in-house uh surveys available as well but again good idea to get that done check out the generator air conditioning drive systems uh, i do have service records available upon request they did just have burgers i think in october had gone through and done a um uh what's it called uh full oil change drive service impellers i believe on generators and air conditioning excuse me generators and engines but again give us a shout let us know uh what else you need and guys we'd uh We'd love the opportunity to earn your business. So very nice boat. They've got it priced aggressively, reason for selling. Uh, they just sold their home down here at Lake of the Ozarks and uh, moving down to Florida, not taking the boat with us. One owner boat, nice, clean, well kept. Um, either an overnighter or a day boat would be a good option for you. Kyle Kelly at 573-348-4700 is the marina location, or you can catch us online if you're not already, www.kellysport.com. 573-348-4700 is the number to the dealership. We're at Kelly's Port. We ask you to buy the best and only cry once.